Hi friends! Uh, so today's video is going to be another bit of advice for young girls, or anyone but mostly young girls. Be honest. Tell people what you want or what you don't want, what you're comfortable with or what you're uncomfortable with. That having been said, you also need to care about what other people want in relationships and in life in general. Uh, you can't only care about another person or like what they're interested in when it suits you and is convenient. Get your Epsom salt from the pharmacy section of a department store rather than the like bath slash personal hygiene slash uh, beauty stuff section. It'll be way cheaper and it's still gonna have benefits when you add it to your bath water like muscle relaxation, stress reduction, and reduction in inflammation. Um, but also, it doesn't have any weird additives, so you could use it as a laxative if you're in a pinch. When you start to get obsessively anxious or worried about a particular situation, try just playing out the absolute worst case scenario in your mind and then work your way out of it. But if that uh, makes you more anxious, stop doing that and maybe try some like meditation or yoga or calling a doctor instead. When you're in a tough situation, don't give up or start to wallow. The best thing about any bad thing is once you're on the other side, it's just the thing that you survived. Unless you are very, very, very good at keeping your composure and maintaining a neutral facial expression, uh, don't text boys in front of your best friends because they will mock you mercilessly. And if they don't mock you mercilessly, you'll still feel like they're mocking you mercilessly, probably because they are in their heads and their hearts. Try to make sure you know and trust somebody really, really well before you reveal the kind of information that's like that you know all of the words to My Chick Bad by Ludacris and Nicki Minaj. Think before you tweet. Finally, make lady friends. See, especially when you're young, it's easy to think that like befriending girls is scary and dangerous because girls are catty and mean and they're la la la. But it's not true. Having women as friends is awesome because they're usually very kind and supportive and encouraging and they care about your mental and physical well-being and they'll tell you to go to doctor's appointments. At least they will if they're my friends because my friends are nurses and mothers and those are the kinds of people who really care if you go to doctor's appointments. Also, lady friends are awesome to have because they almost all uh, menstruate so most of them will carry like pads or tampons and they can help you out if you get surprise attacked by your period at a Starbucks. Today is International Women's Day, so here's the shout out to my friends. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. I did a part one, and I will link that video down below in case you missed it. Alright, see you later. <laughs> My chick bad, my chick hood, my chick do stuff that your chick wish you could. My, my chick bad, better than yours. My chick do stuff that I can't even put in words. Her swagger don't stop, her body won't quit. So fool pipe down, you ain't talking about.